Jen Xun Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, said in Las Vegas at C's 2017 that his company and Audi are developing a self-driving car. That autonomous vehicle, he said, will be on the roads by 2020. And our AI car supercomputer used to be multiple chips. And we're building a new one, it's called Xavier, that fits into a little tiny computer like this. This is what an AI supercomputer looks like for your future self-driving car. It's a little tiny computer like this, and it has sensor information that comes in, and CAN information, CAN information controls the accelerator, the brakes, the steering, and all of the other things that you want to control inside the car. This runs a new operating system we call DriveWorks that takes multiple sensors in, fuses it, recognize and perceive, localize, reason, drive, and it does so while connecting to the HD map and comparing ourselves relative to the information that we get from the HD maps. Incredibly powerful. Eight high-end CPU cores inside this chip, 512 of our next generation GPU. It is ASL D. The computer is ASL D. The chip is ASL C. It is the ASL Automotive um, Safety Integrity Level. The quality level, the reliability level of this computer is bar none. And then lastly, we do all of that. The performance of a high-end gaming PC shrunk into a little tiny chip, 30 tera operations, trillion operations, in just 30 watts. Little tiny computer. We can chain a whole bunch of these together depending on the application. And this will be the future of our self-driving car strategy. Let's see the prototype car based on Audi's Q7 car. Remember, the car has sensors all around it. It's got cameras, it's got radars, it's got lighters. So it has surround perception. The car also has cameras and speakers inside the car. And so it has internal car perception. It is aware of its surroundings. It's aware of the state of the driver. It's aware of the state of the passenger. And just as the NVIDIA Spot gives you an array of speakers and microphones, there's an array of speakers and microphones inside a car. And so this car has incredible perception capability. If only the AI was running all the time. We believe that the AI is either driving you or looking out for you. It's either driving you or looking out for you. When it's not driving you, it is still completely engaged, even though it doesn't have the confidence to drive, because maybe the mapping is, has changed or maybe the road is too tricky or maybe there's just too much traffic, too many pedestrians, and that it shouldn't drive. 
It should still be completely aware, and it should continue to look out for you. We call that AI co-pilot. Surround and environmental awareness, as well as in the cabin, passenger driver awareness. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.